Hey guys, I have realized that 2021 is flying by. We're already halfway through. We just had the 4th of July. We're celebrating. I don't know if you guys saw some good fireworks. Hope you celebrated responsibly. Um, but I have tried tons of great beer products already. And uh, they were. I started kind of thinking back through all of them. And I got a little bit overwhelmed. It's like I've had so many good products and also so many good scents. So I am going to take uh, this video and talk about my favorite scents of 2021 so far. Basically, uh, talking about the first half. But welcome to my Beards and Banjos YouTube channel, where we try to help you grow your best beer possible. I do appreciate you guys joining me. So I've got 12 cents and then a couple of uh, not honorable mentions, but I feel like I need to talk about them because you know, I'm kind of associated with them. So we'll talk about all of those in just a minute. So I've got 12 cents. Now, I did not rank them. I will, at the end of the year, I'll do a top cents of 2021 and I will rank them. That's kind of what I normally do. I didn't, you know, I shot away from doing lots of top list for a while but people seem to really dig it and now that I've got this presentation where I can list the scent profiles a lot of guys really like that and they kind of uh, you know they can see what's in it uh, it's a little bit different than just calling it out if you're a visual learner like myself so hopefully you enjoy my presentation that I do for you guys and so these are in no particular order I don't know how many scents I've tried this year probably a hundred so this is like representing somewhere around the uh, you know the top 10 percent of what I've tried this year and I've got, I do have some discount codes and affiliate codes. If I do, I'll put it right below where, you know, right below my picture there. That'll be uh, kind of pop up for each particular company. Um, I don't have one for every company. The first company I don't have one for. So this is actually Wooly Wizard. And Wooly Wizard is a pretty cool uh, company. They're out of Canada. I think Tyler is the owner. And uh, he has like roulette where you pay a, a dollar or something and then you get a chance to win uh, and you spend so many times and you kind of create the scent by using the roulette wheel so i saw this on my friend nick socially bearded if you're not following him make sure you check him out one of his live streams he had tyler on there and they were doing this roulette thing and they were doing a giveaway i don't usually enter giveaways um but mick wanted me to be entered he knew i hadn't tried um anything from woolly wizard so uh here's the scent that got created by using the roulette wheel so here it is it's cherry raspberry dr pepper bourbon wood and bergamot and man oh man is this good so it's you get the cherry raspberry uh predominantly i've never had anything with raspberry in it for my beard works very well it's very smooth uh, by the way the, the oil does work great in my beard so if you ever get a chance to check out woolly wizard or be part of the roulette thing it's really fun uh, i didn't think it, it would be anything that i would really enjoy but it's kind of neat the way they kind of talk through it and have a, have a good time with it so that's woolly wizard uh and they have scents that you can already uh pick or if i think they do a scent a week and you can like order that scent once that gets created on the wheel i'm not sure but check into it it's pretty fun for sure all right next up we've got the uh, summer theme going here we've got beach bum beard so uh, Derek sent me out a lot of different products and this one is Hawaiian sunset and this one is so long of a scent description that I don't know if I can fit it over here on the uh, the sides of my screen. I'm going to have to get it on both sides or replace it or something but here we go so uh, think about Hawaii so we've got coconut pineapple peach which is peach a little peach thrown in there's kind of neat and orange so it's not just coconut and pineapple you got peach and orange you got some melon uh, and then you've got neroli you've got plum you've got lang you've got pear lily of the valley and then you got some floral notes you've got violet gardenia carnation jasmine um, and then it's got uh, what else here woods i said with a woody musky sugary vanilla uh, and Tonka bean base note. Whew. That's, that's a mouthful right there, but it is really good. It is complex. You do get all of those different fruits. So, uh, I'm not a huge fan of just coconut and pineapples. It's got to have some more in it than just that to stand out for me. And this one stands out. So check out beach bum beards and that's called Hawaiian sunset. All right. Next up, I did a big review of Mudcat Whiskers. Had a big box. We did an unboxing live stream, and then we did uh, a review later on. And I'm going to go with Bayou Black. Um, it's it's probably one of its tamer scents. He's got some other ones with some spicy Cajun notes in it, and they all sound really good, and they are. Uh, I'm going to go with Bayou Black because I think this is one actually that um, uh, stands out because it's a vanilla scent 
but it's not just plain vanilla. You know, I've done this so many, so many years now and tried hundreds upon hundreds and upon hundreds of uh, beard oil scents that it's got to be something different to stand out. So Bayou Black is amber and lavender, earthy tones or earthy notes and vanilla. All right. And it's, I consider it a vanilla scent, but then you get the amber, lavender and the earthy notes to it makes it really, really unique and stand out. Uh, I probably wouldn't have thought to put any lavender lavender in there with it. I don't like lavender, but it works really well in this. So Bayou Black from Mudcat Whiskers. All right, next up, we've got Damn Yankee. And this is actually not the one that you may think I uh, would hold up here. So this is actually from a spring collection. This one is Presidio. Um, a lot of people like the um, the Pipe Dream is actually now went into the permanent lineup. So if you like the orange and vanilla um, pipe tobacco kind of scent, uh, that's what that is. But this one, I like it better. And this is Presidio and it is a, a little bit more savory. So this one is Cedarwood, Black Pepper, vanilla and sage and you get a uh, very little vanilla just enough to smooth it out but you get cedar wood black pepper and sage is really nice and by the way some of these you can't get anymore uh, this one's not available on the website right now uh, i don't know if he'll ever bring it back and you can always send pete a message pete's been known to uh if he's got it available like the, he'll make it for you kind of thing but it won't hurt to ask if that sounds like something you want to check out and by the way that was the uh in the sterling blend uh, which is one of the best blends uh, that i've ever used in my beard uh, for the oil all right uh, so that was Damn Yankee. Next up, we've got Jolly Old Fat Man. Um, so he had several scents that I liked. I definitely liked the uh, Guilty Conscience, which is Birchwood Oud and Champagne. Uh, I had Jester that had Birchwood Oud and um, I think Cotton Candy. Um, I had Krampus, which was a good um, cologne scent. And then this one, if you can't tell, I like his Birchwood Oud scent that he uses. So this one is called Man With No Heart. At least it was originally. I think the name's changed and now it's called Yeti. But it's cherry and birchwood oud, and and I, it doesn't sound complex, but it is really good. It's just, I just love it. Yeah, so I got the oil in that. I need to get the butter to go with that. Uh, but that was from uh, Jolly Old Fat Man. I think it's called Yeti now. But if you look for cherry and birchwood oud, anything that he's got with birchwood oud to me is really good. All right, so next up, we've got Artius Man, and uh, they come out with a couple new scents this year, and this one is the Tea Tree Mint. All right, and it's exactly what it sounds like. So it's nice and refreshing. It is kind of peppermint slash spearmint. I get a little bit more spearmint than peppermint. Um, and, and you get that tea tree in there, but it's actually a little bit more complex than that. You get a little bit, little hint of woods in at the end uh, of it. Uh, so let me read it to you. It's all essential oil. So the official profile, if you read everything, all the ingredients out, you get tea tree, peppermint, spruce, eucalyptus, uh, spearmint, balsam fir, and once again, it's all essentials. It might be the only one on the list that's all essentials. So you, that eucalyptus and the balsam fir and the spruce gives you just a hint of the woodsiness, and that's in, in the back. It's, it's basically a nice minty scent, and you can get that in lots of different products. By the way, I do have a special... Um, uh, exclusive discount code for you guys for Artius Man through I think it's July the 18th. So normally it's Banjo 20 as you can uh, see across the bottom there. But until uh, July 18th, you can actually get 30% off if you use Banjo 30. So make sure you take advantage of that if you need to order anything from Artius Man. Okay, so I wanted to mention that. All right, next up we've got Iowa Beer Company and we've got Dutchman. Remember these are in no particular order. Uh, so this one is another nice summer type of scent. If you've tried Black Pearl from Iowa Beer Company, a wonderful scent. Uh, this one I may like a little bit better and it, it's got a similar vibe to it in that they're, I would say they're kind of cousins or brothers here. So this one, um, let me read it to you. So we got Black Oak Current, Cool Water, Malibu Rum, Tobacco, Teakwood, and some special sweetness that just, Justin likes to add to it. And yeah, so you get that rum, and then the cool water, uh, but it's not overly cologne and not, not tons of cool water, but it mixes in really good with that black oak current, kind of gives it a little more sophistication. So I would say it's a little more towards the uh, sophisticated cologne side than the black pearl. Um, 
just a really good scent. Uh, one of my favorites for the year, uh, for sure. So yeah, so once again, at the end of the year, we'll go back and rank these, and some of these probably won't appear because we'll have a whole lot of new things coming. Um, I got a lot of things coming in for the fall extravaganza, so be looking for that. Uh, that's going to be on September the 10th, I believe. So we uh, talking about lots of new fall scents from a lot of the companies. All right, next up, we're going to talk about Hanyaker. We've got Frontier. All right, so we just did a review on that uh, recently. So it's sage leaf, wild lily, tonka bean, brush suede, oak moss, white woods, fresh water, mountain air, smoked cedar, and gray joy whiskey. And you don't get a lot of whiskey in it. You get this nice freshness uh, with that sage leaf. And then you get, I think it's the mountain air and the uh, white woods and the, um, something else fresh water. I think that's what you get. So you get a little bit of a minty vibe to it. So if you like uh, uh, kind of woodsy, minty scents, it's not overly woodsy and or overly minty. It is nice and smooth and perfectly balanced and my kind of scent. Uh, and once again, that's another one that's limited. Uh, I think there were like six of these left last time I checked, but that was a few days ago, right when I put up my other uh, video. So it may be gone now, um, but, but check it out and see if you can get Frontier. Make sure you get that. All right. Uh, a couple of companies um, we're going to do two scents from them just because I tried so many of their scents and they both uh, each one had two different scents that really stuck out to me so we're going to go with Crusher's Creations next so I've got Simple Life if you saw my big video on that we went over a lot of scents I've ordered now from him three times since then because I wanted to get all of these scents that I could um so this one is amber and lemon I wouldn't have thought lemon would have went with amber but it works really good and then black pepper oak and then uh brian always likes putting in some things he doesn't always say so hidden treats it said all right i gotta smell this one again so good you get the amber and then you get a little bit of lemon and then you get it's almost like a barbershop kind of vibe kind of floating around in the back uh, but then you got a little bit of black pepper and the oak to make it a little bit more manly and sophisticated really good scent simple life check that out and then one more from Crushers, and I've just gotten this one. This one was not on my uh, review, and actually it was a scent of the month. Uh, but I told Brian how good it is and that he needs to bring it back. And since then, uh, I think he sent me the oil uh, when I ordered something, and then I went back and uh, bought the butter to go with it, I think. Or he sent me the butter. I don't remember. But anyway, this is super good. It's called Muse. Uh, it's a little bit hard to see. But this is Black Opium bamboo which i usually don't like bamboo hemp and then amaretto and surprise notes and this is so good yeah, i get like a little bit of that amaretto which is the cherry and then you got it's, it's a little sweet but then it's also just a little bit like a cologne i love it and so i had to go back and get the butter in that as well so that one was called muse i don't know if it'll be available but hey this is my list i'm giving you what i liked this is what jumped out at it at me all right and then for the one last up here we've got ruddy man I've got two cents and i haven't gone through all their scents. i don't know if you saw the big unboxing but i did um he sent every cent that he had then so i've got every one of the cents at that time so i've got like 20 cents to go through or 16 17 cents something like that uh, but i'm gonna go with a, uh, a couple here that really spoke to me so far all right and the first one it was was a surprise for me it was pillow talk all right i love this scent it's chocolate covered strawberries and that would have uh, originally said i'm out chocolate i'm out i don't really get chocolate uh, but chocolate covered strawberries champagne suede and tobacco all right and you get the strawberries and the champagne and it's really, really good. So it's a nice kind of Swedish, sweet cologne type of vibe. Uh, very nice. So that one's Pillow Talk. And then I got one in last week that I want to talk about because it's really, really good. And I would not have picked it for my scent profile because to me it would sound too sweet and too foodie. But it is super good and it is legendary. And that one is Orange Sherbet and Waffle Cone. Don't ask me. I wouldn't have picked this one to, to like out of some of these other scent profiles. It is really good. It's orange, and then it's got some deep richness to it that goes along with it. I guess that's going along with the waffle cone part of that. 
man, that is really good. So I highly recommend checking out the legendary. We'll be having a full review, probably two videos. I know I'll be doing one video where I go through all the scents and then another video I'm going to talk about all the products uh, for Ruddy Man. So that'll be coming up sometime this month. All right, uh, just about done here, but I, I can't, I would be remiss if I didn't talk about a couple other scents going on this year. One of them's got my picture on it. It's Hawthorne um, from Iowa Beer Company. Justin said he just got in some more butter labels, so that will be all ready to go. That's sweet tobacco, amber, birchwood, oud, black pepper, and grapefruit. And it smells, uh, it kind of lives somewhere between a nice, clean kind of, uh, not exactly cologne, not exactly barbershop. Smells like a Sunday morning to me. Um, the very smooth scent, sweet, uh, not sweet, but uh, very smooth, sophisticated, uh, all of that kind of stuff. So that one's Hawthorne. And then one I've become really in, enamored with, um, it's going to have a banjo on it as well. This one's from Ruddy Man and the scent is completely done and you've never smelled anything like this, uh, but it is super good. I can't get enough of it. And then, um, the labels are in. So it's pretty imminent, guys. So within the next little bit here, uh, I'd hate to say a number, a time period on because we're going to work that out this week, but it's coming really, really soon. There's going to be another scent on the market that's going to be a collab with myself and Ruddy Man. I'm so stoked to get this in you guys' hands and let you smell it. Uh, you're going to be very surprised. Uh, but anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Uh, I know I've enjoyed going back through these myself. I can't wait to see what the second half of 2021 uh, uh, brings. Let me know if you've tried any of these, if you like any of the ones that I mentioned or what your top scents are. Uh, maybe from off the top of your head, top one or two scents from so far from 2021. And as always, I appreciate you guys watching. We'll see you soon.